So let's say you've got a nice new car and it's in great shape. This should be enough to drive for Uber Black, right? Well, not quite. Harry here with the Rideshare Guy, and today I'm gonna to answer a question that I get super frequently all the time over at the Rideshare Guy. Can I or should I drive for Uber Black? Now, I totally get it. It's tempting to look at the Uber Black and SUV rates and see $2 a mile, $3 a mile, and you sort of want a piece of that as a driver, right? But first off, you have to understand that Uber Black and Uber SUV is actually Uber's commercial vehicle platform, right? So what that means, in order to drive for Uber Black, you have to have commercial insurance, which costs around three dollars to $5,000 a year, and you have to have taxi or limo licensing. So these are two big requirements that you do not need as an Uber X driver, Uber XL, Uber Select, all basically all the other non-commercial platforms don't require that. Now, complicating things a little bit further is that Uber actually limits the number of black and SUV cars that can operate in each market, right? For Uber X, there's no limit, as you may have noticed. Um, but for Uber Black, there is a limit. And most cities are no longer taking new applications for Uber Black or Uber SUV drivers. And plus, as you can imagine, since Uber Black and SUV is so much more expensive, it's not nearly as busy as Uber X, right? There's a lot more downtime, which is good and bad. But let's say you get all that and and you still wanna get in on Uber Black and give it a shot. How do you do it? So the easiest way is actually to go through what they call a fleet owner. Now, a fleet owner is someone who back in the day got that Uber uh, Black license and got a car you know, with commercial insurance. They got that all on the platform and set up. And basically they have a license to operate on Uber Black and Uber SUV. And like I said, there's limited number of these licenses. And what these fleet owners do, typically they have a fleet of cars, you know, like, like the name might suggest. And they'll actually, you pay them, you can rent a car from them and drive for Uber Black and you'll pay them a weekly fee, maybe around $500 a week. And they cover all the maintenance and you know the car and all that. All all you're responsible for is that weekly fee every single week um, or you know sometimes it's a little more flexible and gas right so you know, if you're looking for one of these fleet owners, you know, they don't necessarily advertise in the traditional places, you know, it's going to be tough, you know, you probably can't go to Uber and get them. But uh, you can, you know, I've seen them advertising on Craigslist in Facebook on Facebook groups. Uh, I've also I've even seen signs on the street looking for drivers, uh, you know, there's really no great repository for looking and finding these Uber black driving type jobs. So you might have to do some searching, but you know, get creative, right? Go talk to existing black car drivers, see what their experience is like, you know, they tend to hang out in areas, you can look on the map and see where they're hanging out. Um, you know, they might be around the nice hotels or even at LAX and go talk to them about their experience. See if there's openings at the fleet owner that they're working for, or maybe they're not working for a fleet owner, but you can learn a little bit about it that way. You know, for the most part though, you know, Uber Black and Uber SUV is really a bit of a different animal because of, you know, sort of those two big requirements that you need all the extra licensing and everything. And also just the fact that it's hard to do it right now on your own as an individual driver. You know, it's going to be very difficult. I've heard of some sort of black black market dealings where you can go and buy these licenses from another fleet owner, but that I'm sure is pretty expensive. So you know, since you have to work through a fleet owner, obviously, as you can imagine, there's some that are more more flexible than others, but you know, it's probably not as flexible as just doing UberX or doing Uber Select on your own. So, you know, you do have the opportunity though, for example, to do private rides on Uber Black and SUV and build up your clientele that way and work for Uber Black. And, you know, there's other sort of limo operators that you can work with. So you have more options in that capacity, but I definitely feel like that's a decreasing business model now, especially just even though it is limited, especially with the fact that Uber X is now, you know, when it first, when Uber Black and Uber X first came onto the scene in 2013, 14, it was maybe only double or triple the price. Now it's five to six times cheaper to take an Uber X than an Uber Black or an Uber SUV. So you can imagine probably that a lot of those Uber Black customers, you know, maybe now they say, hey, you know, in the past I took it, but now it's just so much cheaper to take an X and the experience is not that five times better, right? kind of like that first class, first coach when you're flying plane. I think we've definitely seen that hurt a lot of the market and that's what I've heard from black car drivers. So, you know, there's some opportunity there, but you know, if you can find the right fleet owner, uh, find one in the first place. But honestly, I think you're probably better off doing Uber X on your own or Uber Select maybe even or Uber XL because that's definitely some an area where you have more control. Um, you know, the barrier to entry is not as high. You can get a little bit more creative there. I think there's just a better opportunity there for someone who's really entrepreneurial and kind of really uh, 
looking to take things to the next level. So if you guys do have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below or send me an email. We release new videos every single Tuesday and Thursday and a bonus video on the weekend sometimes. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, get those notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, drive safe, everyone.